Canada Bar Association and Attorney General, the GBA tried to stop the nomination and vetting of Justice Urban as Chief Justice. Justice Kroger stated as follows, and I quote, we cannot in the second, sorry, he stated first that a guided missile has been launched at the heart of the judiciary. And then he continues, we cannot in the circumstances keep our own Patriot missiles permanently fixed to their launch pads. We must instinctively fire them in defense of the Constitution. Now, Justice Kroger would have been more honest if he had said, in defense of our brother Chief Justice Abbott. This is not the first time this has happened. Under the Third Republic, it happened in Tufo and Attorney General. Sometimes we forget that Tufo and Attorney General decided many things, apart from the capacity of every Ghanaian to bring an action. Tufo and Attorney General chipped away at the people's sovereignty and tried to load sovereignty onto parliament, a 15th century theory that it shouldn't have supported. The other thing, again, it did was that Tufo and Attorney General was another attempt by the judiciary to protect their own, Justice Apollo, to ensure that he remained as well, Chief Justice. Roll forward to today, Asari and Attorney General. If we are going strictly by the Constitution, by now the entire General Legal Council should be in Insawam, because the Supreme Court decision on it has not been complied with by the General Legal Council. And so under Article 2, four and five, three, four and five. Where you do not obey the decision of the Supreme Court, it's characterized as a high crime, isn't it? And the penalty is 10 years in jail without the option of a fine. And after that, for 10 years, you don't have the chance to be a public officer. Because to my, the best of my knowledge, the LI has not yet been passed in order to manage the entry into a law school. Now, it is true that the judgment was pragmatic, isn't it? Because many things would have happened if the Supreme Court hadn't gone that way. But we also have to see it in terms of the Supreme Court going soft on its own.